Hello. In this video we're going to make a web page using the WordPress uh, editor. We're going to save the page as a draft. We're not going to publish the web page, we're going to save it as a draft. Then we're going to copy the HTML code that the, the page is made from and we're going to paste that code into, um, into the sidebar area of our web page here. So let's go through it and see, see how easy it is. We made some slides, but I'll go through the slides when we've finished. So let's have a recap. So log into WordPress, go to your dashboard, and then go to appearance, widgets, and you'll see these widgets. Now the widgets, see we've got primary sidebar here. And if we put something into that primary sidebar widget area, it will appear in the sidebar section of our website. So what we need to do is have a page with some content in it. Now I always keep a page called test page draft. Now I don't publish this page and I use it for all the different bits and bats I need to, like this bits of code I need to make. When I've done, done it I just delete that bit of code and put a new piece in. But I save it as a draft, I don't publish it. So this is what I've got, a little bit of text that's going in the sidebar. Now above this text we're going to add a picture. Right, so to add a picture, all we do, we put our cursor somewhere in the page, and I want to add the, the picture at the top of the page there, so I just put the cursor wherever you want the picture to be, click Add Media. Now, I don't have any pictures uploaded at the moment. If I did, they would appear here. So I want to upload an image, so I'll click Upload there, and then click Select. And on my desktop, I've got some marzipan mice from the <laughs> tea shop. Right, so I've, I've chosen the image, click open, it's uploading it to WordPress. Now over here, it's taken the name of the image there, but I want to actually type something in it myself. So we'll call it uh, we've got nice mice buns. Now, there's three little boxes here. The, the important ones are this alt text. Google likes alt text, so I recommend always putting in, if you have a picture, always put alt text, because Google likes that. If you put a caption, the caption will appear underneath the picture here when it's in your page. So that's, they're the two important ones. The caption appears under your picture, and the alt text is we're putting that there for Google and for people who, are, who can't see their computer will read it and it will say picture nice mice buns so it'll give them some idea of what the picture is now we can align the picture the the image there uh, we can have it center aligned left or right now I'm going to keep it center aligned now we've got different options here the, um, you can either link to nothing, this will link to something, we can either link it to nothing at all, so when you click it nothing happens. If you click custom URL, you could link to Google or anywhere you want with that one. Attachment page is not really often used, or I just certainly don't use it often. And media file just means it will link to a bigger picture, so when you click the picture it will show you the full size one. I want to link to nothing in this one. And the the size of the image, I've got three choices. I can have thumbnail, medium, or full size. On this particular one, I want it to be medium. Now, the size you've got available will depend on the theme you're using. Different themes will have different sizes available. So, we've put a title, caption, alt text, and chosen the size of the image. So, insert into page. There we go. Right, now what we need to do, we need to copy this. You can format the text and everything with these buttons. You can have a list or bold italic things like that what we want to do now we can't just copy the content because it won't work so what we've got to do we've got to copy the computer code that makes this content so over here you've got visual and you've got text click text and then just click all this computer code uh, select it all copy it and then we're going to go to appearance widgets and we're going to open up a new window And we want to go to primary sidebar. I want to put a text widget. What we've got here, we've got widgets here. And you drag a widget into a widget area. And there's loads of different widgets. We're just using the text one because it's most convenient. You can do a lot with text widgets. 
So this is text widget. We're going to drag it into primary sidebar. You've got primary sidebar and secondary sidebar. We're using the primary sidebar is the main sidebar. So let's paste. So we've pasted that computer code in there and I'm going to put in here a headline. So let's go back there. Now, the way it says title, that really it's, it's a headline. And now if we save there, I always click this automatically add paragraphs. Um, if you click that and you have problems, then untick it. But generally speaking, it's, it's a good idea to click that. Then click save. So we pasted, we put a title in there, which is a headline. Pasted the computer code that we made and click save. Now if we go to our web page, so we go to the little house there, visit site. See, we've got the title there or the headline. That's the, um, the description we put in and the text here. So that's basically how you put things in the sidebar area. Now I made some slides and this is what we're doing. Stop this video when you get to this point. If you get stuck and just read through the slides. So that's what we're doing. We're putting something in the sidebar or some content in the sidebar. We made a new, well, we made a page, but we didn't save it. We didn't publish it. We saved it as a draft. We added our content to the page, formatted it using these buttons. Then we'd click the text button, the text tab, copied the computer code. You can't copy the, the content, you've got to copy the computer code. And then we went to appearance widgets and dragged the text widget into the primary sidebar area. You've got primary and secondary. You'll have loads of these widgets. So you just got to look for primary sidebar. Uh, drag the text widget into that area. Open the text widget with these little up and down arrows, pasted the content in, and we pasted a title in, and clicked save. And that made our content appear here. Well, thanks for watching. I do hope you found that useful, and bye for now.